Got the three nuts off of the shock tower mounts, and you can see that's a little bit loose there. Now the right hand side would not come out because this was mushroom so bad it was pressing up against the the thread. So I just had to had to just jiggle it a good bit, and it popped down. So. I'm gonna tackle straightening this thing out with some. So the right hand side, actually, driver's side, is not too bad, so I'm just gonna work on this one first a little bit. This one's this one's pretty bad. This one is all out of whack over here, passenger side. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, my wife came over and said I was making too much noise. I had to close the door. So, uh... So what I've done here is, this one's pretty good, but when I put the plate on here, you can tell it's not exactly flat. So I'm gonna do a little bit more precision hammering here. See if okay, well this has turned into just a huge job. And it's all because That's stud right there, which is the forwardmost stud, is a little bit bent to the left. And I could probably make the hole larger. It's this hole right here. But I don't want to do that. And so, now uh, let's see, looking in here, what I have to take off? I had to take off the sway bar link. Um, I'd probably recommend taking the bottom off just because it looks more accessible. There's a little bit of a pain. And then, and then I had to take the, the, toe, the toe link off. Uh, that came off really easy. Just one little hammer hit. So, um, and then I could barely, barely squeeze the whole strut assembly out of there. And uh, so, you know, this is like a 30 minute job, it's going on two hours, so I'm going to straighten that uh, stud out right there. Let me get the light on. Straighten that out and probably check out the, the, uh, the one on the back left as well. And then I should be able to just push it up in there and see how it fits. So I wanted to show you the top of this the top of this strut, you can see I focus on that right there maybe. So you can see you can spin this and you can kind of tell when the studs are perpendicular to the thing. So my mount, the, the black base, was bent in some of these instances and then, well actually in all of them, I think it was the, uh, the studs themselves weren't bent, it was the, really the mounting. So it's not perfect, but it's way better than it was before and good enough. Okay, since I was here, um, and just suggest you guys do this too. Just go ahead and, and get something like uh, Grease Lightning. It's, it's super cheap. And you can put it on just about anything. Wash your hands in it, put it on your clothes. Get stuff off your car. But uh, just cleaned all that out real good. Uh, just use a rag and just soak it and then you know clean it clean up things like your like your joints and just check them out see if, see if they move without making noise which that one does sometimes it's really hard to tell when when you get it some front end noise or suspension noise where the heck it's coming from but uh, you know check check your joints while you're down here Feels fine. That's the toe link. And, you know, the boot, the boot looks fine. So 
you'd expect it to be okay. So, uh, so now we got it cleaned up, and you'll appreciate that if you know if you get a brake leak, for example, brake line leak, and it's clean, you'll be able to see it. If it's all gunked up from ten years of stuff, you may not notice it. So that's the reason I clean all that stuff, and I've got some stainless steel brake lines. I have a good mind just to go ahead and, and put that on. So I set up a jack here to jack the shock up so we can. Okay, so we're fitting this thing in here. And you can see how, how nice it fits now compared to before. We could not get it in. Thank you.